channel and this is MJ and for today's vlog I will be sharing some questions to avoid uploading in the immigration officer okay so this video is all about questions about immigration officer if you are traveling outside the country kasi pag local na naman guys wala immigration okay so yung immigration is traveling outside the country okay so this is the continuation of my immigration um, experience or my first vlog which is the immigration uh, how to avoid being uploaded at uh, immigration officer in the Philippines so this is continuation kasi ang daming nag request na uh, ano ba yung mga tanong na na-encounter mo before yung nag-travel ka pa and then ito na guys first question guys na usually na itatanong ng immigration officer sa iyo is may I see your passport? That is a common question na kailangan mong sagutin. Ito po yung passport ko. I am here my passport. This is my passport. The number two question na itatanong sa iyo ng immigration officer is where is your uh, round trip ticket? So, sa round trip ticket guys, dapat nakaprinted siya kasi uh, yung ibang immigration officer is very traditional so kailangan mo siyang i-print so kailangan mo i-print yung uh, round trip ticket mo para mas madali mo siyang maibigay sa immigration officer the next question guys is uh, where is your hotel booking where is your hotel accommodation okay so this case guys so dapat uh, print na din yung inyong uh, hotel voucher booking okay you can book any websites may merong free dyan guys na di kailangan ng credit card or di kailangan ng debit card so merong free na website okay next question guys is are you traveling alone okay so ito yung usually na talagang na experience ng lahat uh, are you going are you traveling alone guys you have to answer it honestly if you're going to travel alone, you have to say, yes, I'm traveling alone. If you're not going to travel alone, you have to say, I'm going to, I'm traveling with my boyfriend, with my girlfriend. I'm traveling with my family. So, that is a case-to-case -case basis, guys. So, you have to answer it honestly. Um, next question, guys, is what is the purpose of your trip or what is the purpose of your travel? So, this case, guys, you have to say, if you're going on a vacation, you have to say, I'm on a vacation. I want to experience new environment. Travel. <laughs> new environment. I want to experience the culture, the food, and etc. guys. So, if it is vacation uh, purpose, you have to say vacation. And if it is business trip, so you have to say, I'm on a business trip. It's a work-related um, travel, so I'm saying it's worth the travel. Okay, guys. So sometimes, guys, my mga follow up questions sila na itatanong sa yo, like, for example, what is your work? Do you have credit card or debit card? Do you have certificate of employment? Uh, so, yan yung mga follow up questions na kailangan mo ding sagutin. So, if what sa sa tanong na what is your work, so you have to say, I'm working as a call center, I'm working as a teacher, I'm working as a doctor, I'm working as an engineer. So I have to say it, what is your work? Okay guys. Next if do you have debit card and credit card, you have to say I have my credit card, I have my debit card. If credit card naman guys dapat activated siya international. And if wala naman guys, you have to say I don't have credit card or debit card but I have cash na pwedeng pang travel so there you have it ladies and gentlemen parang pageant na okay so these are the common questions that i've encountered or that i've gotten from the, from different travelers from my friends from my family na nag-travel na before okay guys so i hope nakatulong ito sa iyo and if you like this video just hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel kasi more travels goals more videos in thailand and kung di pa na po na yung first uh, video ko about immigration
motivation.